You couldn't ask for more Wanna steal the night away Gonna leave this life behind an open door It's so imaginable Hello and welcome to another Nail or Fail, the show in which I go through all different kinds of things and tell you if they nail or if they fail. So sit down, stick around, and as always, enjoy. The first fail that we're going to have this week is to the reboot of the movie A Nightmare on Elm Street. Ugh, I'm a huge Freddy fan, I'm a huge horror fan, period. and. Uh, I gotta say, this movie is a friggin' huge fail. And uh, just to show you a little bit what I mean, I'm gonna reenact here, I'm gonna use my acting skills to the best that I can. And I'm gonna reenact the actual meeting between New Line Cinemas and Platinum Dunes. So this is a meeting, this is basically when Platinum Dunes came to New Line with a contract to remake the Elm Street movie. And uh, this is pretty much how it went down. This is verbatim what happened during that meeting. And I'm going to be playing the roles of both New Line and Platinum Dunes. So uh, let's start off with what New Line said. So uh, tell us, Platinum Dunes, who will play the role of Freddy? Jackie Earl Halley. You mean Rorschach from The Watchmen? Yes. Uh, will his voice, will he sound creepy and eerie, like the original Freddy? No, he'll actually sound like Rorschach from The Watchmen. Will he have any new dialogue, any, uh, you know, interesting dialogue? No, we're pretty much going to use all his one-liners from all the previous movies. Hmm, okay. And, uh, will the kill scenes, will they be more elaborate, look better, you know, with, with all the advancements in CGI? No, we're pretty much going to forget the last 26 years of technology completely. Okay. And, um, let me see here. Mm. Will, um, will the characters, the characters, will, um, will I genuinely care about the characters? You know, much like I did the original characters in the original Nightmare on Elm Street. No, you're actually going to wish them dead within the first 20 minutes. Hmm. You know what? Say no more, Platinum Dunes. Stop mining. You have hit gold. Gold. Where do we sign? And that was pretty much it. They hit gold. We hit crap. Bad movie. All right. My first nail is Target. Bathrooms. That's right, the bathrooms at Target, the first nail of the day. Oh my god. Have you ever gone to a Target bathroom? It smells so good. It smells like freaking Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops! Seriously! It smells like Fruit Loops in a Target bathroom. It's awesome. I could be in a Target store, somebody opens up the door to the bathroom, and I'll be like, I feel like Toucan Sam. I'll be like, Oh, follow my nose! It always knows! And I'll just start like floating shit in the air and, and heading towards the bathroom. It's insane. You could blindfold me inside a Target, open the door, and, I could, and I'll be able to find my way to the bathroom. It is phenomenal. The bathroom smells like Fruit Loops. If you ever get a chance to go to a Target store, do not, do not overlook the bathroom. It is worth the visit. Trust me. So, f nail Target bathroom. <laughs> Awesome. Um, the next uh, fail that I want to give out here is to the um, basically the the hockey fans or most of them in in Montreal. Um, as you know, I don't like the Montreal Canadiens to begin with, so it, it's kind of easy to bash them. 
But the fans at the Bell Center that during the National Anthem would boo the Star Spangled Banner, total disrespect. I do not like that. I don't think anybody likes that. And, is not, and it is not a representation of Canadians. It's a representation of idiots. So um, keep that in mind, people who've actually watched the games and saw the Canadians boo the Star Spangled Banner or the Canadian fans um, in Montreal. The ones who are booing are complete idiots. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Another nail. So I want to tell you guys this next nail. What's cooler? Then a 44th president of the United States, a chia pet of the 44th president of the United States, man. The Barack Obama chia pet. This thing is awesome. Have you ever wondered what Barack Obama would look like with an afro or a mohawk or anything like that? You can do it. Ask yourself, ask yourself through the world, say, can we know or can we see what Barack Obama would look like with an afro, with a mohawk, with spiked hair, or anything? Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Thanks to this. Thanks to the Barack Obama chia pet. It comes in two varieties, too. It's Happy Obama and Determined Obama. I got the Determined Obama because Barack Obama, happy is cool, man, but Determined is awesome. Nothing better than the 44th president of the United States as a chia pet. It's phenomenal. So go out today and find a Barack Obama chia pet. The next fail I'm gonna give out here is to Dunkin' Donuts coffee. So I was in the States and I got a chance to try some Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Um, you know what? First of all, the coffee is bland. It's very bland. Now, there may be a reason for that. On the cup, and I'll give them credit for what they put in here, it says, caution, hot. That is the biggest understatement ever. Caution, hot? It should say, caution, may contain lava. It's insanity. Maybe I didn't even taste the coffee because it totally burned the taste buds off my tongue. It was insane. I took a drink out of it, like, ah! My tongue just swelled up. It was so hot. I had that thing in a car for three hours and it was still hot. It stayed warm for three hours. It's insanity. It's lava. It's magma. It's like juice from the sun. And uh, that might be why I didn't enjoy the experience so much. Not only did it burn me, but just because of the whole fact that it killed my taste buds. It's not good. So, um, yeah. That pretty much concludes this nail or fail. Uh, I'll try to keep it short this time for you guys. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you join me next time. So, until then, guys, keep watching, keep going to my website, keep helping support the shark dream, and um, never forget where you came from. Later.